What's up friends, this is Money, and today I'm gonna find out how strong is the Kiri when it's only being run with Ansel shields and basically turrets only mode to deal damage, okay? Let's hop into the game and find out. I'm pretty sure the turrets will still gonna do enough damage, however, there has been the rebalance uh, changing the uh, damage output of the turret drastically from what I gather. So it will be no longer as effective as before, but with 350,000 Ansel shield energy, certain weapons are gonna have a hard time doing something here, right? Not all weapons, because as you know, most weapons are bypassing shields, especially the blue ones, but we'll see. We'll see, okay? So popping the shield and... Uh, Okay, Broski is already coming in here uh, with uh, it seems like there are multiple ones of these uh, <laughs> These little guys, okay, I wonder where they're coming from because we can probably attack them by putting the turrets up close enough, but it seems like they're all far away See another weapon that bypasses my shield Completely lost all of that health all of it and putting the turrets down there now, next to uh, the the, um, <laughs> the Kyuri. And no, not the Kyuri. Um, what's it called? The Shen Lu. I just killed the Shen Lu by doing so. So he seems to be reloading. Uh, he's jumping away. Damn it. I thought he was going to get for, come for me. Uh, we have a Crisis Reaper there. I mean, I can go attack him, but he's going to bypass my shields. Um, because that's what a Crisis Reaper does, right? And then, do we have the Shen Lu drone? No, we don't have the Shen Lu drone. Okay, I don't need to put my sh my turrets up right now because they can't attack him. Um, I will have to use my phase shift again if I want to not get whooped by him. Okay. Oh, I just got hit from the side, apparently. So, turrets are out, extra health is deployed, and the Reaper, uh, the Crisis is getting attacked. And is getting killed too. Sweet. <laughs> but you see, my shields are doing nothing for me. Nothing. Literally nothing. Because the every weapon the enemy is using bypasses the blue shields. All of them. There is almost no weapon in the game that does not bypass these shields anymore. These weapons do. Uh, do not, I mean. Okay. Putting the turrets up here. Getting some extra health and some additional mobility. Then I am locked? Am I locked? I don't see myself being locked, but I'm no longer moving. Interesting. Okay. Putting the turrets up again. Yeah, there's barely ever a single shot I can block. Um, yeah, I'm blocking, I believe, the damage from the Orpheon. Uh, the built-in uh, rockets from the Orpheon is something I can block. Uh, but so far, things are not running too well for us. Okay. He's busy. Alright. It's really sad that we can't block any of the weapons firing at us um, with these Ansel shields. It's a very interesting playstyle. I like the idea of running this. Um, but I don't like that it, uh, yeah, it doesn't do much for us. Okay. Let's walk in here. Putting up some fresh turrets. There we go. This Reaper Crisis is gonna open fire. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I blocked all his shots. Dude, I blocked all his shots. He must not have had his ability ready. <laughs> so for the first time, I actually did block the shots from, from the Crisis robot there. Okay. So you see, there is a challenge involved with this. It is quite a challenge to, uh, to run Ansel Shields these days. Which is something I find very sad, because, you know, the answer shields, you're going to sacrifice something for having them, right? You're going to sacrifice a lot of potential firepower um, just to be able to have these, uh, th these shields. But when the shields don't work for you, then you're basically sacrificing all of that for nothing, right? That's how it is. So, new turrets down there. Okay, let's walk away. I'm constantly getting stuck on everything. That's pretty annoying here. I, I, I have a real trouble here with uh, free movement. Okay, new turrets out. <laughs> it's weird that I'm still here, right? So he bypassed my shields this time, but I had bonus health, so 
I could take it. Right? And he's going to exit stealth any second now. And the next turrets are on them. Look at this. Ooh, bye, dude. Have a good one. And you see that the... Um, oh, no, I'm getting... Okay. Uh, the guy with his uh, um, auto-homing machine guns on the Titan, he's not shooting me. Because I have 300,000 energy shield that he has to first deplete. So that's also an interesting thing. That you, you can basically block a lot of damage output. Uh, but the ones that you would block are the ones that often don't even attack you, right? So they see a hot triple Ansel, and they're like, nah, screw that. Oh, I got the kill, Ooh, but now I'm not get gonna be dead. All right. So the ones that you could block the damage from, they just shoot something else. And the other 70% who can just go through your Ansel, a a a a Ansel shields, they will shoot you, of course. All right, so it seems like we're losing this match pretty well. But it's definitely not because of me, because I have only gotten given the enemy team one uh, point. Um, I don't think I have enough damage output in here to drop the entire um, Titan there. Especially now that I'm suppressed too. I don't even know why. Why did I get suppressed? Popping a shield, getting fresh shields on me. But yeah, there's two Titans on me. And various different robots. And more titans even. Yeah, this is it, man. <laughs> I mean, this is, there is just no way not to get killed by this much stuff coming my way. There is just no way. The entire enemy team is just ruining my, my game here now. So you're stealth for a long time. Okay. Okay. Let's see if maybe we can attack that uh, Rook, but as usual, instantly being suppressed as I begin to attack him. Popping shields, because I don't need them against the Rocket Boy anyways. Alright, maybe we can drop him real quick. Yep, that was worth it. But I have so many Titans on me. And no chance. Because the entire enemy team is still left alive and I'm basically dead. And I'm not even going to respawn. What am I respawning against? Six players! My entire team is run out of robots. And I have meanwhile lost two. And, um, wow. Uh, that is weird. So it seems like my the enemy team just has six, uh, 12 players and we have six. Uh, how is this possible? How is this possible? Are you saying you killed all of my team's robots? 32 kills. Yeah, they did. They killed the entire... The only robots left to kill would be my four remaining robots. It's it's not, it's not it's true. They have been, been able to kill every single robot of every single of my teammates' players. And they managed to score sometimes 600,000, 700,000 damage with their robots. I do not understand. And also, my the enemy team hasn't even done so much damage. One guy carried, okay. Um, but the rest? Hmm. Interesting that <laughs> we were able to lose 32 robots with, like, I don't know, maybe 20 million damage that the enemy team did. Weird. All right, let's hop into another one. I feel like the first round already showed that the Curie can actually still function, even just with the turrets only, even after the update where the turrets are doing less damage. But at the same time, this answer shield, although you sacrifice two something very important things for it, is barely giving you anything. So these answer shields barely even give you... Look, I'm getting attacked again from two players and exactly zero shots were blocked by the answer shields. They're 100% full. And this is going to be a completely normal experience you're going to be making. Here, full energy build. Complete and 100% full energy build on that Ancelot, uh, uh, Lancelot. Full energy build on the Imugi. Full energy build on, um, on the Aochon. All three robots we fought so far and seen, full 100% energy builds. I made him turn around so that my turrets shoot into his backside. Couldn't quite kill him. Um, but again, my uh, my shields. So, so far, in this entire match, these two massive heavy Ansel shields have not even done a single blocking damage shot for me. I sacrificed 80% firepower for zero gain. 
it just shows how terrible Ansel shields are. How completely and hopelessly outdated they are. To the point of complete obsolescence. So he's face shifting through that. I think he cannot go through my shields. He has to... Oh, wait, I'm blocking damage with the shield now. Yeah, somebody was actually shooting into my shield. This guy. He has cryo rockets or something like this. Uh, he's walking the other way. But I'm still... What? Why is there a titan already, dude? That, come on, man. The game's just two minutes old. And even though I changed my movement patterns abruptly from left to right, he hit me with every single one of his shots. Another thing, Titans should not be seen in the first 4 or 5 minutes of the gameplay. There needs to be a certain time for regular robots to enjoy the gameplay without having massive Titans in front of you that basically prevent uh, yeah, you from, from functioning. So his shot still counted even though I face shifted because I had a terrible lag moment. Okay, here we have the Reaper Crisis running away from us. He's got killed from behind, okay. I feel like the, uh, the sh not the Shade Drone, the, the drone for a uh, Quantum Radar, the Seeker Drone would be a good addition. I'm glad though that my old ra- oh my god, the lags, dude! I've seen this jump in like three frames. He's jumped in three frames. <laughs> Dude, the lags, man. Oh my goodness, I'm empty on uh, on my Havocs. I guess I need to some time to recharge them. Those are rather old weapons by now. And while they still deal a lot of damage as you unload, after you have unloaded, there is no more damage in those. He missed the opportunity for his... Um, First blast wave. Okay, here comes an enemy uh, Ravana. Okay. Look, look how much damage these things can do still. I <laughs> used every single ability now. I have still one more in there. Okay, got him. Uh, yo, the Ravana is still kicking. Oh, finally I can do some damage against the Arthur. He was turning sideways. But you see how long it takes me to work down these freaking physical shields, man. Come on, physical shields. Uh-oh. That is something I didn't expect. Stalling time like crazy, but I need my team for that. And as usual, I begin firing and the lags instantly kick in. I'm trying to capture the beacon so that I do something useful here. Yep, did it. Gotten the beacon. Okay. Recharging my weapons a little. He's capturing the beacons back. I'm going to use my battleship shield for as long as I can. But it's not going to be that long. Yeah, there's only so much you can do against the Titans with the regular robots. And that's why I think it's important that Titans, while they deserve their place in the game, and I enjoy that they are there, they should have, however, a decent time span in which they do not appear on the battlefield. Oh, I jumped too far. Uh, it, there should be a really, really good time for robots only, where the Titans are not yet interfering with the combat between robots, right? But that's not really given anymore, because nowadays, Titans are just there. Like, you can have... I can do it. I can just equip six Kamolas to a Dagon, and I can bring the, uh, the Titans within the first... Well, in one minute of battle. I can do it no problem. And that shouldn't be possible. Right? So... One, on the one side, Titan feature is awesome to have, but it's too early right now. Popping the shields. Alrighty. 
So uh, this match, unfortunately, I was, not, I was not really able to do much with the Kyuri. Uh, but again, um, I feel like this would be working really well if the Ansels would actually block something. Uh, and that's why I say uh, Ansel shields should be Aegis shields. The, because they, they are just completely outdated. And again, it's not the same as running old Punishers, for example. You're running old Punishers, that's one thing. You're going to be doing damage, but you're going to be doing less damage. But you are going to be doing damage. So even though the weapons are out, out, outdated, they do still perform and are still capable of doing something that they're supposed to do. That's different with the Ansel Shield. These Ansel Shields are not just outdated. The game has shifted away from energy weapons entirely to the point that they, are, they have become 100% worthless it's like punishers equipping old punishers to your robot but they do not fire anymore it's like okay they're so old they no longer have the ability to even fire bullets right and that's the same with these ansel shields you you sacrifice the slot for a potential weapon that would do a lot of damage if you equipped a weapon and you get nothing in return nothing because in 90% of all cases, enemies will simply be by by bypassing these shields. And the ones who don't bypass just shoot something else. So it's, there is maximum loss for zero gain. And that just means it's not just outdated. It is so outdated that it's pretty much completely useless now. And this is the one of the only items that has gone so far where the meta has changed so far away from allowing this this item to perform in any way and that way i say this should not be an ultimate upgrade ansel should not be ultimate to be able to be an A aegis shield i think ansel shield should be instantly aegis from from now on there should not be an ultimate version. There should not be a discussion. How can we convert this to more earnings or whatever? It doesn't. That's not the question. The question here is, what do you do with this? With this one item that currently literally serves no purpose anymore. Because there's hardly anything that, that the damage blocks and use. Maybe in the future when there's a shift in meta, maybe there's a heavy rocket meta coming at some point in one or two years, right? Then maybe the A Ansel as it is right now could work. But there clearly is no rocket meta and it hasn't been for a very long time because rockets are very detrimental in the game compared to other weapons, right? Um, and there hasn't seemed to be much effort made to change that either. So there needs to be something happening ladies and gentlemen um it needs to be an aegis shield i don't see any other way the big point here is that you sacrifice something and you have zero gain that should not be possible you shouldn't be sacrificing if i put a physical shield on it um on my medium weapon slots for example i sacrifice a medium weapon slot but right now 70 or 80 percent of the weapons have to break through that physical shield first before they can deal damage so i have a gain in most situations not with the ansel shield so definitely uh needs some attention by pixonic and i'm hoping this is not uh thinking about ultimate because clearly right now this item is worthless and there needs to be done something uh, but i've said this a few times now. so thanks for watching tell me what you think about this and uh <laughs> manny gaming signing off bye bye